The government's asked them what? The governor of that state where it's got plenty of that shell coal oh, in it. Oh, 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 oh. And the federal government and EPA turned him down. EPA oh, oh, is oh. The, EPA is the one that's hurting everything. Well, you know what? No, you know, you got to think in terms of this, though. Number so one. So, anyways, it's a good idea for people to be working on some methods not only of energy independence for the USA, but energy that's clean. The energy isn't destroying the earth, and destroying the atmosphere. I mean, would you agree? What do you think? Slow it down some. Slow Don't it down some. some. Thank you. Don't have to be all done today. Yeah. But on the fuel for vehicles yeah. in your home and the businesses, they should have forgot about the 700 billion and put a couple hundred billion into that and get to work on it. You know, I want to like give you a high five on that. Well, cut, shake your they, hand, because I'm they, thinking the same thing. Okay, we got a favor, and this is going to be a challenge, but because um, we're going to have to figure out how to break it down, and to do that, we do a little chemical test with it, but we got to have it melted. And the stuff that we have is too hard to melt. Can we put just a, like about an inch of that in there? I don't think the plastic will melt. We're pretty sure the plastic won't melt. You sure? It's a pretty highly rated plastic. Just, just. Okay. Well, it looks pretty, doesn't it? Do doctor, careful. It looks great when it's... Uh... What we have here is an example of titration at work. Look, it just melted my... Uh... Pipette? Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. That's okay. I got lots of extras. Wow. This is a soft kind of plastic. The, the beaker worked great. Okay. What kind of reaction are we looking for here? Well, just the same thing, color change. We just keep on putting this in until, until we get a color change. Let's see what happens. I've never tried working with this sharpening stuff before. I've always thought, gee, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. I, I know it won't work as well, but I haven't actually personally tried it. I always advise people to try to avoid it. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we're stuck with it, and maybe maybe it'll work 50-50 with oil, you know? I just wonder what exactly is shortening? Is it's it part, hydrogenated part? oil. It's like margarine. Oh. It's it's um, at least partially hydrogenated. But is, is it, there any animal fats in it, or is it just still vegetable? Well, it's it's hydrogenated, which is worse than animal fats for you. That was... Turn the pink there. It's kind of titrate. When it stays pink, that's yeah, the time yeah. when you're somehow, and you measure how many drops it takes to, for it to Yeah, turn, how, how turn much pink, it, solid pink. you measure it off the pipette. I see, wow. It's a fabulous soundtrack you got in the background. The pink water. Titrates at 0.6, which is really good. Hmm, interesting. And way up there, you'll hear our prayer and show. I wonder if it'll work. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> We're in the midst of a, a very uh, yeah. We're experimenting with some of the poor quality oil that's uh, that's gonna be cheaper. 
Well, we're collecting the oil from the local yeah. fryers here. I heard about that, that yeah. you can make um, gasoline out of it. Well, well biodiesel, diesel, not gasoline. Doing, yeah. yeah. You have to fix your car, right, to run on that? Yeah. Well, a any diesel vehicle will run on biodiesel. Yeah. Is this the, made out of corn? No, no. It's made, no. Out of it's made from oil. Yeah. yeah. From yeah. And, and as we speak, we're dealing with the uh, vendors bringing us, or we getting from them, a variety because there's a, lots of different oils that they use, mm -hmm. and every different oil has a different property. Mm -hmm. Some of them are, you know, trouble. Yeah. And we're dealing with one that is basically a shortening that they make the funnel cakes with. Mm -hmm. right. And that well, is a, a big problem. Not good for you. It's so a big, much for the funnel cake tonight. Yeah, it's a big problem compared to yeah. regular vegetable oil because it's, 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 it's not really pure vegetable oil. Well, it's hydrogenated, it's like the yeah. trans fats, that's what that is, they use that, yeah. which is worse for your health than, um, than, than regular vegetable oil. Right. So you, you probably heard about the triglycerides, yeah. you know, that are good for you, that's, that's yeah. what you make biodiesel, you need the triglycerides, and it, when they hydrogenate the oil, it changes the triglycerides into something else, so it's, you know, it's, it's not as good, you can't, you can't split it. Yeah triglycerides into biodiesel, just like your body can't do it. Yeah. Uh, we can't do it either. Hmm. But So we don't know when you get the shortening what percentage of it is actually biodiesel. Yeah, there's some chocolate floating on the top. It's pretty disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but underneath that, is the oil's actually pretty good. But some of these guys, you know these, these guys down here are putting like chocolate in, in the barrel. Uh, yeah. yeah, this is for your uh, diesel yeah, because I got a Mercedes. Mercedes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any diesel engine will run biodiesel. Yeah. And this, okay, this is biodiesel. Yeah, this is a processor to make biodiesel from vegetable oil. Yes. Where do you get it from? Where do we get the oil from? Well, like, where can you purchase it? I mean, is it out in the market here? Where, where can you purchase biodiesel? Right. Well, you can buy it. There's a bunch of retail stations. Yeah. I mean, uh, retail. How much does it go for a gallon, approximately? Um, it's about the same as regular diesel to buy at retail. But so, well, what uh, well, what what we do, what we do is we sell you the processor so you can make it yourself, which costs a dollar a gallon. But you, that's not the question you ask. You ask where do I buy it at retail? <laughs> oh no no no. Okay yeah a dollar. But what we do is we provide the technology to make it yourself. We're not in the business so much of okay. selling. So do the you just go to restaurants and get the grease from yeah, them? Yeah yeah. And uh, do you have to? convert your diesel motor? Not in not for biodiesel. To run straight vegetable oil, you uh -huh. need to convert your motor or convert your car. It's not really the motor that's converted. It's the preheating tank and things like that. Right. So this but would go in our van? No, no, no. This would go in the Mercedes oh. diesel. Doesn't, yeah. this give a, doesn't it give off like a strange smell, though, when it's burning? It's a much better smell, most oh, really? people feel, okay. than the smell of burning carol. Yeah. It doesn't smell yeah. like an airport anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's better for the environment too. Yes, right? yeah. And it doesn't emit that black city dust. It's, uh, you, you, yeah, if you get any soot, it's grayer. You, you ever leave a frying pan uh, that you cooked in on the chest? Okay, because regular diesel is 40 cetane. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I think it has to be close to it in order to be in the meat spec. And the biodiesel that we make with this process is about as close to spec as anything you're going to make in a home brew kit. What? Do you use your, this stuff? Oh, your yeah, diesel? yeah. Yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, my business made, takes me back and forth between here and New York, and I don't think I could afford it. I'm driving back and forth between here and upstate New York all the time, and when I'm pulling my trailer there, it takes me 40 gallons on my F-250. Mm. So, and I burn all biodiesel, you know, all the time. So, it saves me a lot of money because I make my own. Yeah, the business card is over there, and there's also literature, and there's a sign-up sheet for the workshops that we give on how to make the biodiesel of this stuff. And you're Neely? Yeah. My name is Tom Herbert. The business is called Neely Green Solutions. Okay. And we're the dealers for this fuel mixture process. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Twenty-nine ninety-five for the single unit. Well, no, three, five, oh. 2, <laughs> I thought you were kidding. No, I was like, oh my god. Like, so, Can't yeah. beat that. <laughs> What's up? I thought you were going to say this is about 8,000.
there are systems that cost more, you know, I mean, than ours, and there are those that are cheaper. But this is, you see, our kit comes with um, a complete instruction manual, a video, a dealer network to back it up, where you show people how to make it. And it's not the cheapest on the market, it's not the most expensive. There is a one um, that costs 8000 that's more automated, but ours is probably a pretty good balance between uh, the price and what you get for the money. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. All right. In the meantime, so what I would we? be inclined to do it's is still... somehow get that shit <laughs> out of there. Do we need a little shit. shovel or something. I need to turn that off so I can swear. Swear. <laughs> now, yeah, get this stuff out.